Greetings and welcome to Nimbratus. Episode 2, attempt number 2, taking out that damn worm. Before we get started though, this game was provided for free by the developer. Okay, so let's just look at the ship we've got here. Let's just do a test flight. It can rotate at a moderate speed. So there's four rotating thrusters on each side. It's got a whole bunch of forward thrusters because that snake is fast and we can do nice maneuvering. It has four reverse thrusters, well actually six reverse thrusters for about the side ones. Uh, unfortunately because you can't link parts of multiple parts when you hit reverse they do separate which is kind of annoying. Um, because all of these parts here are linked to this block, that block is linked to that block and that block is linked to that block so you get this weird pivoting separation which is kind of annoying. If you link two parts together that would make it much easier. Also weapons. I plan to destroy everything in the planet that we need to destroy quickly. Second of all, this thing has shields, and a lot of them. Now we will drain the battery, so we don't we don't need them right now, because um, we do these do drain our batteries semi quickly. But uh, if we need them, we need them. Two shields up front on each side, one halfway each side, and then the two rear thrusters. Hopefully they won't be needed, because the only time they should be needed is when we're entering into battle. So it's like boom, boom, boom. And if we're running away from battle, it'll be like ah. So hopefully we don't need them too much. Also, that's a lot of firepower. So I'm hoping we don't uh, need the shield that much because that is a lot of firepower that we are putting out. And it's a mixture of all of these on the front are rockets and all these on the sides are the lasers. So uh, we can do some damage. So let's give it a test against the worm, shall we? Save and exit. Oh yes, and it's called the Toe Blaster. Because we have the RJ Dunn Eater, we have the DG Bumbler. Why not the Toe Blaster? Let's go. Bum, eggs. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> so, let's move, destroy the snake eggs, which I did do actually. Ah, there's one. Snake egg gone. All right, keep moving, keep moving. We gotta lower ourselves down. Look for eggs below the surface, and then blast away if the snake, big egg snake comes around. I uh, hear it. I'm beginning to come up over here. I don't want to go lower, but no, it's not near the area. That's the problem. Ha! And run! Because the big snake does. Ow! Asteroids. Meteors. Uh, let's just down. I actually check, I haven't checked down this way. That was an asteroid hitting something down there. Turn! Thrust away! Get away! Always turn side. I found out you turn sideways to the snake. It uh, can't bite you as easily. Also, which way did it go? It looks like it acted the other way. Yes, it acted that way. So we are safe to go down here then. It does have a bit of trouble uh, turning back on itself. So as long as we don't touch it, we are okay. But I want to get to it. It might come back across though, so we'll be careful. Nothing down there to worry about. There's his head. It doesn't actually give a crap about us overall, as long as we're not shooting its eggs, which kind of makes sense. You know, if we're not destroying its eggs, then we can. We're going to hover here for a second. Hi, snake butt. Let's go. Nothing there. Oh, hang on a minute. Actually, there's a hole in the ground. Low the rocks fall in, so we can go in without worries. Get in there, rock. So that it land, it'll fall down. Here we go. Coming down. Nothing there to worry about. Okay, okay. Get out of the hole. You don't get stuck in there when the snake turns up. Bam, 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 bam. How about in this hole here? Gotta keep listening as well. Look, oh, there's an egg. How? You gotta listen for the mama snake. You can hear it some coming. Any more down here? Yeah, look, there's two down here. Blast that one first. And then blast that one as we run away. Because that's two eggs and that will make the snake really hate us. I didn't hear it. I heard it! I heard it! Run away! Parallel dive! Parallel dive! Aha! 
Hey, sneaky. We actually can't hurt the snake, so we have to watch out for that. Alright, hold position. Begin hover mode. Also, to refuel our tanks. We have all the fuel tanks refueling. Come on, snake butt. Come past. We want to go down there and investigate those. Make sure we got both of those eggs, not just one of them. I know we definitely got one of them, but did we get both? Oop, wrong hole. We're going to be down this side. And make sure we got both of those uh, egg sacks. Yeah, we got. Oh, there's one there though. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Big ol'! Ah! Look at that, it doesn't seem to care we're here. We didn't kill the egg. Yes. Because that egg's just on the side of a wall. We're gonna blast that wall in a moment. And then we need to make a run for it. Snake Oh, it's going faster. Ah! Okay, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Oh, Pat's going to start blowing up too. Shields! <laughs> what did we lose? We lost something. I saw some explosion. Did we not lose anything? I think we got away with that one. Ah! No! Shields! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay. We lost a small fuel tank, that's what we lost. Okay. The snake. Not happy with us right now. But there's one more egg down here. Snake but Run away! That way! So we lost one fuel tank, so we almost completed the half a rotation of the planet so far. Ah! Shield! Ah! Oh, okay, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Reverse thrusters, reverse thrusters. Alright, we are reverse thrusters only, we are going home. <laughs> we have successfully completed the mission. Uh, which I did pass to do before the recording because I want to make sure the ship actually worked. But we are now heading home on reverse thrusters only. And I know I could just hit that button there, then that would teleport us back to the, the uh, Nympathus. But I kind of like the idea we'll, we'll, we're limping back on reverse thrusters. <laughs> uh, almost home. Also, this ship does have uh, collectors as well. You see the little uh, air markers there. Uh, so we can collect resources if we need to. But uh, yeah, okay. Wow, okay, we, we overstayed our welcome. We did the damage, we did the mission, and we overstayed our welcome. Alright, swing her up. Oh, the engines are loose as well. They popped off. Oh. Boop. I'll take that one home with us. There you can go to space, my little buddy. I'm going to get the other one, that one being on with us. Yo, you, my friend, are coming with us. Swing around. We don't have any uh, forward facing thrusters either, so. Boop. There you go. And home. <laughs> Mission is complete. Oh. So that was level two. What's this? This is a arena. Ooh, an arena. Now arenas. Those are different to normal missions. Normal missions, you fly around the planet, you do something with the planet. On these ones, however, you uh, you have to build a completely automated drone. No, you can have no manual control systems. So all of our current drones are completely illegible. But it's like a sumo wrestling ring, and your option is to push these out. So what do you have? You have sensors, and you have thrusters in all directions. So let's give you a, let's give you a test. Uh, set a drone, new drone, and you're going to be just a test drone. So you're going to start off with a little thruster. Actually, you won't. You start off with a fuel tank, and we don't need to be charging, so we're going to go with a big fuel tank. And we're going to go with a thruster, a thruster. And a thruster, just three standard thrusters on there. Uh, and then we'll go with armor blocks. Yes, armor blocks. Let's do a catch and release system. So we'll put you like that. Okay, you're too close to the hole. Fair enough. But you like that. <clears throat> but you like that. 
We'll put a, an ammo block there just in case something nasty happens. And then what we'll do is offer these, like that. We'll do a little uh, catch bracket. So these will act like little um, scoops. I'm going to push whatever we get in contact with. Then we'll also put, you know what, give me some more thrusters. We'll just, we'll just do a full-on forward blast. Oop, put that there. So that should be enough to get started with. We need a logic circuit, so sensors, a logic, logic part. Uh, activates the key output. It's a button. I need to press something on that one. If gate. <coughs> okay, I need something that's like an always on system. <coughs> you. Distance sensor. Speed sensor. Directional sensor. Camera tracker. Temperature sensor. Ultimate so that, If we just do that, no, nothing will happen because there's no, no button press, you see. So, we need a way to ki kick those engines in. And there isn't a way to of always on, so we need to have a sensor that outputs something. So we'll say here, distance sensor on the front that a direction event add a key W. The detection ah, own drone. Even better. Pop that there. And that's basically that will detect us. So for counterpoint, just for counterweight, let's pop that there. So when you detect, you press W, so now if we do test flight, it's detecting, there we go, and it immediately fires the thrusters. Alright, perfect. Now we have immediate thrust, so hopefully that will do the job. Uh, and what we'll do is, we could actually, um, ooh, actually you, not you, I need another sensor, one that's not on the center point, so sensor, uh, you, you're a detector, so put you there, okay, you can't go there, put you there. And put your friend here, and we'll say with you two. Oh, wrong way. You there, uh, there, and there. If you two detect anything, you will trigger an S event. And you detect enemies only. And what we'll do is we can put in here weapons, explosives. So we'll put in an explosive charge there. There. And an explosive charge there. Down one more. Oh, you two be being awkward now. Yeah, you are. Okay. Move you apart and then just do that. Move you up there, do that. So they're. Uh... There we go. So they're even. And you detonate on S, and you detonate on S. So if an enemy is in that spot there, boom, double explosion. Okay, perfect. Uh, we can also put a secondary sensor uh, there, in the very centre where that can see out. So you're going to have to move just a tad. You know, I don't care. You can go there. Ah! Can I have fine control on the movements? Oh, sensor, can you pull back? You can. That so means you can pull back. That means you should... Uh, don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. There you go. There you go. So you can go there. I don't want to be in the middle too much, so put that there. On the line of the laser. Yeah, actually, that won't do too bad. There we go. Ah, go there. All right, so they'll detonate if, a, if an enemy hits these points here. That one there will output a D... And these sensors here were all these were these ones will activate on D. So what we should have is these two small ones will fire and push us forward, and then actually you go forward, and these all activate on D. So it's basically fire slowly along until you see an enemy, then turbo into and detonate the explosives. So it looked like this. System starts up, small thrust goes. That went well. What the hell happened there? You're not only supposed to take the enemies, you're only supposed to take the enemies. There was a whole wiggly wobbly mess of events there. Which I'm kind of curious, will that happen again every time? Yes it will. Alright, so... If we remove the explosives, what happens? Do we still get the wibbliness? Okay, so the wibbliness was indeed the explosives fault. So... Still want the explosives though, so we put the explosives back here. 
you know, put them onto that. If they're not on something else, then they shouldn't have an issue. And you'll like detonate on S. And you can link to that, and you go there, and you detonate on S. So they shouldn't, they shouldn't be linked to this time, right? Okay, no wiggly exploding. They're getting wigglier, but they're not wiggly exploding, which I like. Alright, let's give this a test, shall we? This drone will be called the Wiggly Boom. Select the drone. Why can't I select the drone? No weapons, factory or defensive. But it has explosives. Fine. Um, you should need weapons though for this. Um... Oh, it's not. We're not actually allowed weapons. Oh, right. So the explosives we can't do. So you can go away, and you can go away, and that'll do fine then. Uh, oh no, not the test. Just save, and wiggly boom. Now it's wiggly. Um, because we have no boom. What a shame. All right, start the battle. I have no idea what this ship's going to do here though. Oh, uh, I see what you're doing. We lost, by the way. Oh, excellent. You can detect the edge of the map. Right, okay. I might as well just lose that first one. New drone wins. Exit the arena. Okay, so you just fly around in circles detecting the edge of the map. Okay. So, this that's, that's cool. So what we'll do here is we'll say, in that case, so you're very hard to push out. Hmm. Can I have a camera tracker? Does the camera tracker work? Uh, activate camera tracker. I don't know what camera tracker does, so I'm going to play W. I wish I knew what the camera tracker did. I actually don't know how you work. That's the problem. Uh, but let's just test it and see what the camera tracker does. Uh, what is that? Is it a gyro? No, that's a, that's, a, that's a logic sensor. Okay, we'll try that out. I want to see what the camera does. Camera doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Okay, well I can't see what the camera tracker does. But this guy is really hard to beat because of his uh, because of the way he moves. So our first opponent is really difficult. Um, Alright, so... I wish I knew how you worked though. So you're useless to us right now. Um, you're actually useless to us right now. Although, as, a, as an emergency, just give it a test. Massive range on the lasers to get like full speed if we can. Oh, we don't see the we'll pick it up straight away. All right, you are going to you are going to be almost impossible to, to destroy. Or it could screw itself up. Okay. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that worked. Can I uh, have another go with a different robot? Uh, okay. So you are... A full of logic circuits. I kind of want to see what you do before we fight you. And this will be the last thing we do is test this out. What do you do? So you fly at us. Oh no, you fly sideways. You track us. How are you tracking us? I don't know how you track. It's got a logic circuit, but I only saw one. How are you working? Okay, let me have a closer look at you. Let's have a closer look at you. So, that's a ca that's a laser. And they're clamps of some kind. They're magnets or something. I can't remember what they are now. And that's a, that's a few of the fuel tanks. I don't know how you operate. I, mean, I really don't know how it operates. How does it, how does it work? I mean, it's using the big eye, which is a directional sensor. Fair enough, but what's the directional sensor do? Um, take its gravity, take its cursor, take its run core. Ta oh, take its enemy. Okay. So we can actually. Okay, okay, okay. I see how it works. Uh, so let's move that forward. Let's put that attached to that for future uh, usefulness. So you can sit there. 
And so if you turn right, you'll press an A. If you press one, you'll press a D. These will no longer be doing these. You'll just build just with these on X. X. Just to keep them convenient that these are my turbos. When we are facing the enemy, we'll go for it. Yeah, no, don't do that. But then we need turning thrusters now. Okay, so. Uh, turning thruster. Number one goes there. Number two goes there. Number three can go back over here. Uh, it's a bit messy now because of this, but don't complain a bit about that. Can you connect to that? Thank you. And if you could connect to that, that'd be great. So I can move you two out appropriately. So put you there for now, put you out there for now. Right, so you really want to be as far forward as you can to help with the rotating at this point. Right, so you are my A, and you should be the D. So you're the A, you should be the D, and you should be the A. Uh, so you would output A and D, good. And then these claws that we have here, they'll be attached to that thing there. So that's going to go there. That one's going to go onto the, onto the block. That one will go there. They're going to complain about that, that's fine. That one goes there, that one goes there, that comes back. Those engines, uh, they can go there. Ah! And there. Okay. Let's give this a test. It's a bit crude, but let's give it a go. It's our first our logic bot. It's not really full logic, but we'll get an idea. So. That's not really helpful. That's not really helpful. That isn't helpful, in this, even even in the slightest. Did you get your circuitry the wrong way around, little Wiggly? Hey, Wiggly, did you get your circuit the wrong way around? You did look at that. There you go. Poor little Wiggly got confused. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And now it's even worse. I thought that was a. I thought that bit at the bottom was the. Uh, that little grey bit was the uh, was the forward bit, but no, it's the back bit. Weep weep weep. There we go. And we should bring that uh, range down to about 20 meters so we can get it in slamming range. Alright, let's give it a go. Also, those are off center, so it'll probably get me confused. But here it goes, it tracks, it tracks, it tracks, and then. Oh, we have the same idea, but our side thrust is out running. We get the ounce one! Nice! But we won by look. We actually won by look on that one. Oh, about to sensi. Yeah, okay. Um, we won by pure look because these didn't fire. Because these are firing X and you are still outputting D. Which was a mistake on my behalf there. Although, I think at this point we should just put some off thrust. What's that? That's a, a jump thruster. Uh, so this pumps out a force of 30. You put out a force of 40. You put out a force of 30. So actually, we should. What we should do is these thrusters here, which are my turbos. They should be. They should be these ones, because these will fire off in a much better way. Okay, we'll do that. And then, you know what? Let's get some more thrusters on here. When we push, I want to push hard. And you all fire out on X for extra. That's the stupid, but we'll do it anyway. There we go. Now I want to make sure these are now at least close to being right. One goes there, and one goes there. Where's the center of mass on this thing? It's actually at the center. Okay, we should know what rotation those were at though. It looks about right. Okay, let's give it a go. Wiggly, you're up. Begin the battle! And none of my thrusters are firing. None of my thrusters are actually firing at these big ones. It's triggered the laser, but they're all dead. Do they? Oh, they need uh, red fuel, I'm guessing. Alright, if they need red fuel... Let's, we should have done a test, but I want to be able to test them. Um, charge thruster, force mass, one needs fuel to work. We have fuel. 
<coughs> so the engine fires, it moves forward, nothing's over the fan barrier, but they will, they're not, they're not charged. So what, how do we fuel them then? I bet we just don't have the fuel type, but it needs red fuel. Okay, we'll assume it needs red fuel, and we don't have it. So we'll go back to normal thrusters. Although those ones are charge thrusters. Those need fuel to work. Starting force of 30, which is the same as that. Yeah. Uh, and then force changes per second of 10. Fuel per second 8. Oh, so in theory... In theory... You... Are more powerful than the primary thrusters. Because you add more fuel burn per second. Yeah. So you activate on X and you activate on X and you can actually increase thrust on X as well. So this will start off with a small thrust. Uh, can I copy and paste these? It'll be so much easier. If I copy, paste. Yes, I can. Okay. Ah, one do. Delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you, delete you, you. So thrust on X, increase thrust on X. The force change will be at the rate of 10? Yes, start at 30. I'll do us. Max force is 30. Oh. Well, they're useless. If the max force is 30, then that wouldn't make a difference, would it? Damn you, you're annoyingly accurate system. Fine, normal thrust as it is. X. One there, one there, one there, one there and one there. Put you back in. I would actually like you to be tucked in like the whole lot. It looks more. It looks like, it looks like it's more realistic. And you know what? There we go. We're way under the depart limit, so why not? Why not have more? Eh? Why not have more? Okay. Give you a try. We get the arms. Destroy Sensi. Okay, I'm getting kind of annoyed that they're not firing my thrusters. <clears throat> it's not detecting the enemy. The actual sensor is still saying red, isn't it? Why are you saying red? Because you're an own drone. Why, 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 why are you on an own drone? Enemies. There we go. No, you can't fire because you're overlapping because now, now you want to complain about it. There you go. Jeez. How did that get changed? Because these were setting up earlier. Oh, I think it changed earlier. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Dun 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 This is a very crude robot we have here. It's not as nice as their one, which is really smooth. But when we push, when we push. We get the arms win. Okay, so that worked fine, but we got Sensi again, okay. What if we added some sensors to the side to stop us going out? What if we said, on the side here, we have side thrusters, there, there. So I'm not far off of each of the actual side thrusters that we have for turning. But these ones are actually our proximity alert sensor, which will push us away from the edge if we, in case something bad happens. So you will fire off on E and E, and you will fire off on R and R, and then sensors, 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 a sensor here and here will detect the edge of the boundary and push us to safety. Okay. There and there. So these first fire off on E, so you will be responding to E on the sumo border. You will also respond to E on the sumo border. You, as a result, will output R on the border, and you will output R on the border. At the same point, uh, we should have another sensor at the front here. Like that. The push that looks a bit closer also detects the border and can initiate a reverse thrust in the event that we are uh, entering a situation where we're going to be kind of killing ourselves. So you will be. Uh, which one we use yet? We don't use Z. Reverse thrust on Z. 
There we go. And that means you will output Z if you see the border. And only if the border is within that limit. So we push the enemy out, but we don't go out ourselves. Give you a test. So small engines will fly forward. The craft will wiggle its way to the edge because they are. Uh, well, they're going to wiggle basically. No, no worry about that. And it just takes itself to death. Okay. And it goes across. <clears throat> when it hits the border, it should stop for going out. Oh! I think I reprogrammed you as well, didn't I? I did. Ooh. Two enemies. And then you should we sumo border. Okay, test that again. But I don't know how that happened though. Okay, it's wiggly, 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 wiggly. Then eventually it stops wiggling. I don't know why it wiggles actually, because it's supposed to take in the enemy. I bet it's still, I bet it's still on the border, isn't it? Okay, gets near the border. That's, do not fire the engines. We get to the border, but then reverse thrust and hold. There we go, and we'll actually hold at the border like that. Okay. Wondering if we should have a turn as well. <clears throat> you know, if it detects it with fire or thruster. Um, you know what we could do? Instead of firing a straight reverse, we have you actually here instead. Fire an angle. And then this one, we should also fire an angle. Then. Probably if we fire at an angle, and we both fire at an angle, it doesn't work very well. Um, so I still want the reverse for us, but I'd like one extra to fire at an angle as well, which would be kind of annoying because I need a dead engine then. But we can do it. You know what, actually, it doesn't need a dead engine. It needs one engine here. That will fight, also fire on the Z. And a second engine down here, which is faced upwards, which will also fire on the Z. So it looks, it might look a bit weird, but that will cause the front end of the ship to spin around. I might put it on the back of the ship, actually, <clears throat> to cause it to spin around. Actually, let's do that. Move these to the back of the ship. Put one there, and one there. So what happens here is it'll get to the edge of the screen. It'll flip itself over. Hopefully with enough for us to uh, not be a problem. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. So it comes along. If it detects the enemy, it'll ram them off the edge of the map. <clears throat> but if it doesn't detect the enemy first, it'll do this. Flip itself around and move on. Oh, I'm liking that. It just turns itself around immediately. Okay, that I, that, that I like. Okay, let's give this a go. Select the drone. Wiggly arm, go. <clears throat> Boom. And push. And out you go. And we win. Now we knew we'd win that one anyway because Wiggly Arms beat Sensei last time round and we didn't change anything there. But can we get a new bad guy? No, Sensei again. Well, you know, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lose this one. So we'll just go in for a straight battle and then we're done. I was hoping we'd get a new uh, thing to fight. But we'll, uh, we'll go. And we just, we just basically overpower your engines at this point. And it's a spiral until one of us is unfortunately outside of the map. But we're gonna fire our thrusters right now and try to keep ourselves inside. So that actually might help us with this thing. Oh, we're out of fuel. Our engine's about to shut down entirely. There we go, we lost on due to, uh, we lost that one due to fuel exhaustion, ooh. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do then is that big ass fuel tank. Take it out. And let's replace it with a, with a single large regenerating fuel tank. I don't know how this will work. Oh, it's... Let's just see if we can keep going. I don't know how long this fuel will last with these engines or something. Then, so we can see it, we go towards it, we move forward, it does the same thing to us. And then... Fire, and we burn through our fuel. And we burn through our fuel way too quickly. But when we run out of fuel, what happens? At that point we run out, we, we die. Okay. So how are you fueling yourself? With two fuel tanks. Okay. So you have two, you have a small and a medium fuel tank. So you have fuel regeneration of uh, 16 and 8. And we've got 32, but we have more engines to deal with as well. What we could do then is just place fuel down the sides 
of the craft, like that, so we have these little bonus uh, fuel tanks. Because each one's, it's not the tank itself, it's the amount of fuel it regens. <clears throat> Go! We're playing for the longer game. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it actually only has one fuel tank, but it's the point lesser engines that's the issue. Bam, bam, bam! Wiggly Arms wins again, but we exit the arena. Go back in again. I want to see. I want. I want at least one where it doesn't just win immediately. I want to see a little spinny one, make sure we can handle the long term run. If not, this is our only one. We'll go. And here we go. And boom. And then we begin the rotation. Good. This is what I want to see. The rotation. We burn for our first fuel tank. And then we start on our second fuel tank. Now. And they they've run low on theirs. So we're pushing. We're pushing. And we have third fuel tanks running out there, out of fuel now. They're 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 entirely relying upon that uh, small fuel tank to keep those engines running. We are too. The difference is we've got this bonus thing here, right? We can push ourselves away from the edge of the map and push them out. That was exactly as I hoped it would do. Okay, perfect. That I like. I like Wiggly Am. Wiggly Am is good. Wiggly Am is good. Okay. But is it really Wiggly Am though? Because you know those there, they you know what they really look like. That's not spelled right. Wiggly eyebrows. There we go. Is there a way to put our one out there? Duplicate drone, export the file, upload drone. Sure. It is a sumo drone. Boom. Uploading the drone. If you want to beat the wiggly eyebrow, feel free to go and have a, have a shot at it. It is now up on the Steam Workshop for you to uh, to defeat. But just a, just one last battle for itself, so it gets a bit of a little reputation for itself. Boom! And we begin the dance of the Wigglies. I love how the little um, rocket things actually cup hold of their, their sensors. Holds in place nicely. Down to two tanks, they're down to zero tanks. That's why we're just rotating in circles now. So that's why they have us on this, because they, they can keep rotating. But we just fire our side thrusters at this point here and then push straight off the map. Okay, that works really well. That works really, really well. I'm happy with that. We got the eyebrows has won the game. Okay. <clears throat> well, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. We have this one planet here to sort out. Uh, but we can also... I don't move this thing. We can also travel to another sector and do something over here. Ooh, there's another, another thing over there. We can travel there now. We've, we've unlocked enough. So if you want to see any more, if you want to see another arena match at least, let me know and we'll... Uh, and we will... Hmm. Anyway, let me know if, what you want to do and we will uh, we'll continue. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Those two more matches are fun though.